That's amore. That's amore. That's amore. That's amore. <laughs> oh, my own, that's amore. That's amore. How's that? Today is January 21st, 2017. January 21st, 2017. The big day finally has arrived. Lizzie is a jackpot! We are at the Intercontinental in Chicago, Illinois, on my wedding day, ready to get married. It's January 21st, so you'd think it would be a blizzard, but it's actually the most gorgeous day. I think it's supposed to be winter, but it feels like spring. And we're getting married today. Lizzie is a hilarious, adorable little angel. She's funny, uh, but yet, uh, as I call it, just enough edge to, uh, to be able to roll with the best of them. We officially met freshman year in my dorm room. I met her just kind of by coincidence. I was walking down her dorm floor. It was fall of freshman year at IU, and Lisey was singing karaoke in her dorm room in Foster Harper with her roommate. Lisey was in the middle of singing That's Amore, obviously, when a tan hottie with a fresh fade and a pie caps muscle tank came stumbling into the room carrying a bottle of Kamchata vodka. He introduced himself as Jack, no K, and he was shocked to find out that the girls actually hadn't heard of him. So he explained that he happened to be IU's hottest up-and-coming white rapper, Kid Puppy. We didn't really date after that. We just kind of were acquaintances until sophomore year, so the next year then. We had sociology class together. And then, you know, one thing led to another. We went on our first date, and the rest, as they say, is history. Jack's a character. He is a total goofball. His smile, his personality, his happiness is contagious. Life of the party. The minute I met him, I fell in love with Jack. He, I always say it's corny, but he had me at hello. Definitely. It's something that I can't even describe that you know you're gonna be spending the rest of your life with uh, the person you love most and your absolute best friend in the world. Lisi, I cannot believe the day is finally here. I still remember the first day we met. I still remember our first date. I still remember our date after that, and after that, and after that. When I close my eyes, I could still remember every moment I've ever had with you because each has been so special. Thank you so much for being you, and thank you so much for finding me. You have made me the luckiest man in the world. You are truly my absolute best friend, and I will love you forever. No matter what, I will love you to the moon and back. I will love you till the end of time. I will love you in this life and in the next. Love, Jack. <laughs> Good afternoon to all of you and welcome to Old St. Patrick's. And what has been a real blessing is listening to their story. And listening not only to their story of the past and the journey that brings them to today, but also the beautiful hopes and dreams that await you tomorrow and for many, many years uh, to come. Jack and Lisi personify this beautiful reverence to one another. They're never without a smile. And it's the testimony and the personification, if you will, of goodness to one another. I, Jack, take you, Lisi, to be my wife. I, Lisi, take you, Jack, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. For better or for worse. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. So, it gives me honor and privilege to present to you and to the world today, Mr. and Mrs. John and Elisa Cassell.
gathering of Italians. With the Rizzos and uh, Cassells coming together, our family is now up to 90,000 people. A few highlights, dinners will continue to be seven hours long and you have to yell every single sentence. <laughs> Before I get to the important stuff, I just could not pass up this opportunity to share a few of my favorite childhood Wheezy stories with you. Maybe you've heard of a little game that she used to play with her brother Mikey called Yes Master. During Yes Master, Lisey would make Mikey act as her slave. She would ask him to do random favors for her, and he would have to respond, Yes Master. By the way, Mikey, your spray tan looks great tonight. Jack, as Tree proudly admits, you had her at a hello. But it didn't take long for me to see what an amazing man my daughter was dating. Your wit, charm, and easygoing personality made it easy for us to see why Lisey fell in love with you. While Jack may be the poster child of the Space Cadets, Lisey clearly saw the great qualities all of us see in him and fell for him for those reasons. He never ceases to keep smiling or make you laugh. It's really inspiring seeing someone who's able to be in that good of a mood all the time. Lacey, I've always wanted a sister. One of the first times I met you was on a visit to IU. I knew you were the one pretty much immediately. Please. As I stand here today and look at you and your new hubby on the most important day of your lives, I can't help but feel this maternal sense of happiness that my best friend has found someone who brings them such fulfillment. I just want to finish by saying I'm so happy for you guys and congratulations on your marriage. And in the words of Lisey, this is going to be the funnest night of the whole world. <laughs> Wait, not in the whole world, but of the whole world. So uh, let's raise our glasses to the newlyweds. I love you both. Congratulations. To my best friends, Lacey and Jack, wishing you life's every happiness together. I love you guys. Cheers. On behalf of me and my wife, we'd like to thank everyone for coming tonight and for being a part of our truly special day. Mostly, we'd like to thank our parents for being there for us all these years and for being our best friends. You've taught us values, you've taught us morals, and you've taught us how to become better people. We'd like to raise a toast to health, happiness, our love, and to all of our incredible friends and family sitting in this room that have been with us every step of the way. Cheers. As most of you know, Lisi and Jack attended Indiana University. After a few days of dating and phone calls home, they soon realized they had more in common than just going to the same school. You see, Lisey's grandma sis, my mother-in-law, and Jack's grandma Bella were best friends from kindergarten. My grandma, my grandma sis, and his grandma Bella were best friends since kindergarten. Never knew and never knew of Jack before. My mom always had you know, known his grandparents. They were best friends in kindergarten. They went to grammar school together. They went to high school together. It took a while, but after a couple months, my family and her family started making the connection. They all knew each other back in the day. Every time I think about it, it makes my heart kind of skip a beat because it's one of those stories that you hear about in the movies. It's like, it's almost like a folklore or a tale now. It's, it's insane. Everybody's, you know, just blown away by the story. My mom passed away right before Lucy met Jack. And Jack's grandmother had passed away many years ago. And um, so we always say it was a match made in heaven. <laughs>